Hey everyone, this is Joshua Lara, and lately we've been getting lots of gameplay and info for Sonic Frontiers, and many people have been rambling on and on about the game all over YouTube, and it was pretty obvious I had several things to say as well. I mean, I did make a reaction to that one trailer, but here they actually showed like how the game might look when we play it, and... To say the least, I'm mixed. I have a lot to say, and some of it is good, but some of it is bad. So brace yourself for all those people who are against people saying this game is going to be bad. But, like, I don't think this game is going to be bad particular because the graphics and everything, they look visually stunning. But there are some things I have to, like, talk about with this game. And I know, before you guys tell me, I know this game's unfinished, and I know this was, like, just a demo of them showing us how the game will look like, but still, I just need to talk about how it looks so far, so hopefully someone can at least listen to the stuff I say, and it'll hopefully encourage Sega to fix it up. So, yeah, with no further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so recently IGN gave us, like, two, like five minute or six minute clips of gameplay the first half of it the first part of it was about just the gameplay and just how the game will look visually and the second one was about how the combat will be just like how sonic is gonna defeat the enemies and all of this was posted like on ign's youtube channel and i just find this ironic because these are also the people who said oh, there. sonic was never good yeah yeah hopefully that guy lost his job after he said those stupid ass words but yeah, anyway, this I just find this funny and just really ironic how these were the same people or it was just like one person, but yeah, these were the people who immediately admittedly said Sonic didn't really have any good games at all. So, yeah, it's it's funny how IGN's kind of like covering Sonic Frontiers even though they really don't like the franchise. So, yeah, I, I just might as well say that. But yeah, they did, anyway, with that out of the way, they did give us, like, gameplay footage and just how the game is going to look, and honestly, it, it doesn't look bad per se, but it's certainly missing a lot, and the world just feels kind of empty. I mean, yeah, we're just jumping right into it, so yeah, might as well just say it. So yeah, I think the game, I mean, this is obviously just like a demo or something, it's not like the how the game will actually look. I'm sure they'll probably polish it and fix it up a bit, but yeah, the the so far I think just the world and everything, just how Sonic's running around it all, the world just seems kind of empty and doesn't really have any like personality or vibes or anything. It's just a basic grassy field, which of course is a lot like Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, but Breath of the Wild did have like some areas to explore and just give it like personality and. They, I'm pretty sure they did say this game was going to have, like, um, like some inspiration from Breath of the Wild. Obviously, it does, because this just literally feels like that same exact game, but with Sonic. But, yeah, anyway, I, I actually don't think it looks visually that bad at all, but I just want them to at least fix up this place a bit and just give it some personality and don't just make, doesn't just make it look like a very bland, grassy field or whatever. So, and just to make it look more like a Sonic game. So, yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure, like, on the Sonic Frontiers website, they did say Sonic's gonna explore... Uh, sorry. Explore four huge islands or whatever. I think that's what it said. One of them was called Starfall Islands. And I'm... I don't know. I kind I think it's this island he's on right now. But, yeah. Vis like... I mean, I don't really know how to say this, but just everything just looks kind of like bland and just how the world is just like a basic grassy field or whatever. And I just want them to at least add some stuff into it to make it look more like a Sonic game and to just give it more personality. You know what I'm saying? And also, if there's only going to be four huge islands, I have to say that's obviously not that much, but... Just by ju judging by this trailer, it seems like there's going to be, like, a ton to explore around this island, which is, of course, pretty good because I feel that obviously would work well. I mean, considering this game is open world, that obviously makes sense for them to have you explore, like, this very huge island with just so much to do. But, but just by, like, the gameplay and everything, it didn't really seem like there's going to be that much to do 
because they didn't really show much, and I guess it's because they were trying to only show gameplay. They weren't really trying to, like, show anything, like, too personal or anything, like, story or just puzzles or whatever. I mean, they, they're showing, like, a, this puzzle right here where Sonic is, like, walking on these squares or whatever. But, yeah, I just don't think they really shown much of what's going to happen on this island that he's going to be exploring. But I just hope they at least give it some personality. Like, if it's going to be called Starfall Islands, which I think that's what this place is going to be called... I just hope they give it, like, a vibe or something. Like, give it personality and just make it be, like, true to the name. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just want them to give this some personality. Like, I don't really know what they should give it, but, yeah. And some people have said that this was going to be, like, the opening to the game where you just, like, found, your found yourself, like, on this island and you're just, like, going around fixing stuff up. So, hopefully, when you progress through the game... They'll definitely add some more stuff to it. So, yeah. So, that's one of the things I noticed about the gameplay so far. But, there is much more than that. Honestly, I think I actually got more interest in the second gameplay aspect. Where they showed, like, the combat and everything. I think I got more interest than that than I had for this. But, this did give me some interest. Like, I liked how the island looked and everything. But, it was really just lacking personality. And it just looked really bland, but yeah, I just want them to fix it up, like I said before. So yeah, that's one of the things I didn't really like what I saw, because I, I don't want this place to just look super bland. I want it to actually feel like a Sonic game, because honestly, if I, I can't imagine, but if you showed, I mean, I obviously can, but if you showed like this to someone and they didn't know it was a Sonic game... They wouldn't really think it was a Sonic game because this is not really the kind of stuff you would see in, you know, a Sonic game. And I don't really know why. I mean, I, you can't really judge me on that because I'm pretty sure we all know what Sonic games look like. But usually they would change up a bit, change up the pace and how the world would look in Sonic games. But for this, it just really just looks almost like it's not a Sonic game because Sonic's just run, running around this huge Zelda-like place, which is... <laughs> Which doesn't really have that much stuff, like, inside of it. So, they should give it personality. Like, I, 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 if I could get a dollar every time I say personality. <laughs> but, yeah, they should put some, like, Sonic stuff into it. I mean, we did see, like, the dash panels and the springs and, of course, the iconic rings there. But, yeah, they should at least give some more to it. Like, don't just put, like, the obvious stuff that should be in Sonic game. Put more stuff. I don't really think there's going to be, like, any acts or levels or zones in this game because it's just going to be one huge, like, level you have to explore or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, maybe that's how it is going to be in this game. I do hope that there's going to be, like, some little sub-areas or levels you can get because I'm pretty sure in the trailer it did show Sonic doing tricks or whatever, and I was, like, I was glad that they brought back the tricks, but at the same time, I was confused. Like, what's the point in doing tricks? Because usually they would give you bonuses in the other Sonic games, like Unleashed, Colors, or Generations that had you do tricks when you jumped up, like, a hoop or a dash panel. But, so, what's really the point of doing all that if this is going to be open world? Like, unless there's going to be, like, a scoreboard, which I, would be weird for an open world game... I don't really see the point of that, but I'm just glad they at least put it either way, so I can't really complain that much about it. So yeah, I'm already 8 minutes in, and we're just talking about one thing, so let's move on to the next thing. Many people, and I'm not one of those people, but they did, people seem to, did complain about the Forces model being reused. And what I mean by that is, like, this is the Sonic's model, it's exactly the same as it did in Forces. Which, I never really understood why people complained about it so much, because I don't think the Forces model was that bad, but I don't, I kinda don't blame people for hating it, because I think the Unleashed or, you know, Generations model looked much, much better than the Forces one, but it doesn't really look that bad, but I don't really see why people hate it so much, so if someone can explain to me, please feel free to do so. So yeah, I don't really see much of a reason for people to even be complaining about the, them reusing the Forces model, although I'm not going to give them credit for reusing it because I think they should have at least reused a new model or at least kept the like Unleashed or Generations model for him, but 
I, I I kind of do see why people hate the Forces model because he does have like smaller quills, which is weird because in like the trailer for this game, the CGI, he actually had his like normal long quills, but in the gameplay, his quills just got shorter for whatever reason, which feels kind of weird. And yeah, I'm honestly one of those people who say that you shouldn't really judge a book by its cover, and the game obviously is not out yet, so I feel people really shouldn't start saying the game is bad just by seeing this, because the game, like, once it releases sometime later this year, it could look better than what they've shown so far, so I feel people really shouldn't be saying, oh, this game's gonna be bad, it sucks. I mean, I can't really say it will, it will, but... It does look pretty good, but I can't really... You, you guys can't really say this game looks bad because it's not out yet. So once the game comes out, you can probably make all the complaints you want. But for now, you'll just have to wait and see if this game will really be bad. I'm praying to the gods that it won't be bad. I just hope later this month that they t start talking about what the game's actually going to be about. Because so far, they only went over the basics. Like, they've shown the gameplay and how the combat's going to work. But I would like to actually know what the main plot of this game is going to be. Like, I want to know the story. I mean, I am liking the gameplay. Well, some, some of the gameplay, some of the other stuff we've seen, I kind of didn't really appreciate. But it is like a... It's, it's unfinished, so yeah. But I just want them to actually start talking about what the game's going to be about, like the plot line and stuff like that, because so far we don't really know anything. Like, we know this game's going to take place in, like, cyberspace later on in the game, and we know that Amy is probably going to take a role in this game because, like, in the Game Awards trailer. But, yeah, I just hope they at least talk about what the story and just, like, tell us what the game's main plot is going to be. So yeah, gameplay and combat is of course important, but the main story is also the most important, so they better start talking about it soon enough. All right, let's get into some let's get into some other stuff. Might as well start talking about the combat, which I think looks pretty fantastic. I'm really glad they didn't just make have Sonic do his like basic moves like you know the boost, the homing attack and stuff like that. They did say Sonic was going to have like several combat skills in this game and that's pretty good because it would just be obviously pretty boring if he just did the homing attack over and over and boost and his like, you know, more iconic moves and stuff like that. So they should definitely give him some more moves this time around like they did throughout in like Adventure, Unleashed, Generations and stuff like that. And so far the combat in this game definitely looked promising. My favorite had to be, my two favorites had to probably be the spin cycle where he ran around an enemy and then they just got like paralyzed or something like that. And my second one had to be that one where he like, I don't know how to pronounce this, but he did like, he kind of pulled his inner shadow where he did like several chaos spears with like several punches and stuff like that. He was like sh shooting out like shockwaves through his fists and feet and stuff like that. I don't know what that was, but it definitely got caught me by surprise. Also, I think the enemy designs in this game are definitely better than the enemy designs in Forces. I mean, just by how the game looks, you can obviously tell it's going to be better than Forces because Forces just looked pretty bland and generic and stuff like that. But this game, even though the world kind of does look a bit bland, the enemy, it, it doesn't look too bland. It looks pretty decent, but... The enemy designs are pretty fantastic. I mean, were they were they actually created by Eggman or probably someone else? I guess can't, we don't really know that because we don't know much about like the main plot yet or whatever. But yeah, hopefully we'll get more info on this whole thing soon. Because I want to know how Sonic actually got to this island and just like what happened and just how all this went down. And yeah, a little callback to my whole saying on the Forces model being in this game. If they at least give him longer quills and just not like the shorter quills that they gave him here, the, I, I don't think people will be complaining as much. Like, I don't know why they decided to give him smaller quills because his longer quills just make him look way better and more cooler to look at. I'm not saying the small quills are really a bad thing, although they kind of are, but... The longer quills just look so much better for some reason, so if they at least give him longer quills in this game, I won't be complaining about the Forces model, and I don't, I can't imagine a lot of other people will also complain that much about it, so yeah. 
this enemy right here is probably so far the best enemy I've seen so far because it's like super huge and yeah, it may just be kind of a little bit basic on how to defeat him where you just run up the arm or something, but I'm pretty sure you also have to do that spin cycle move and of course home, home attack several times on like the leg or something from what I saw on the trailer. I mean, not really a trailer, it's just like a gameplay showcase, but yeah. So... <laughs> The enemy designs in this game look really, really cool. So they might be Eggman's new badniks or whatever. If they were made by Eggman or someone else. But yeah, this game definitely gives me Shadow of the Colossus vibes. I'm pretty sure everyone else knows that by now. But yeah, these enemies, they totally look like they were just ripped out of that game. And yeah, it also looks like this game is going to be relying on some sort of technology because... Earlier today, I did actually look up online, and it said this game's gonna be using, like, some sort of technology or whatever, because it showed, like, these temple-ish things or something, which opened up new areas, like, right here. So, yeah, it <laughs> that definitely, definitely looks pretty cool, so I'm down for that. But, man, I just really want this game to be good, because if it ends up being bad, it's... Uh, I, I really don't want even want to say what's gonna happen, but, yeah... I'll just let you guys decide for yourself. Also, I noticed that Sonic had like a some sort of dodging ability, which is kind of weird because you can just go super fast and just quickly dodge that by itself. So it's kind of like in Smash Bros where you could dodge, but just it's not bad, but it's just kind of weird how you can dodge in this game. But yeah, it's not really much of a bad thing. I can't really complain. So mm, guess that's all right. So yeah, I don't really know whether to keep my expectations high or low at this point because as I said, I really want this game to be the best Sonic game in a while because probably the last main good Sonic game in the series had to be Generations. Although Lost World, I actually did enjoy that game. I don't really see why people hated it that much, but yeah, Lost World was a decent game. So I'd pretty much consider that to be Sonic's last good game in a while. Because boom, the Boom games certainly obviously weren't good. Forces definitely wasn't. So yeah, if they at least polish up the game a little bit and just give it, you know, more Sonic-esque, it could really be a really great, fantastic Sonic game. Also, another bad thing I kind of noticed about the gameplay so far was that the, the graphic pop-in, the texture pop-in really wasn't that great. But I guess it's because the game's unfinished because... I'm pretty sure there was one point in the gameplay trailer where Sonic was running and then he ran up to this area and some of the stuff on the ground just popped up out of nowhere as soon as he showed up there. So, I mean, I guess that was like a issue on its own. So, I, I'm, that's just a little heads up. So, they should definitely get that fixed up so it, it the game doesn't have any graphic issues. Although, the Nintendo Switch version probably will be the worst version of the game. I mean... I really don't want to say that because, eh, I mean, the game's of course already going to be on the Switch, so a Switch game with all this graphics would definitely be pretty remarkable and just breathtaking. Like, I mean, Breath of the Wild had these exact same graphics in a way, so yeah, I'm pretty sure the game will obviously look better, like on the Xbox Series X and the PS5, and I obviously don't have any of those consoles, but if one day I do manage to get my hands on a PS5 or Xbox Series X, I definitely will consider playing the Sonic Frontiers version of those, but for now, I guess I'll have to stick with the Nintendo Switch version. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything, but just thought I'd say that. So yeah, let's recap a little bit. I just want them to add more Sonic-esque and just add more stuff to this island so it wouldn't just be a basic grassy field with like the temples and stuff like that. I just want it to be, I just don't want it to be soulless. I want it to have some personality. And at least have, like, you know, but yeah. Either way, I'm just really hyped for Frontiers because an open world Sonic game was definitely needed as much as right now. Because it's just shocking how we haven't really had, like, a main open open world Sonic game in a while. But yeah, I'm not counting the Legend of Zelda Sonic Lost World DLC. But yeah, this is technically Sonic's very first official open world game. Which is kind of weird because I kind of considered Unleashed to be a bit of an open world game because you can kind of like explore the hub worlds and stuff like that, which was pretty cool and what I loved about Unleashed. So yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's going to be any levels you can play in the game, but 
I just hope there's, like I said before, I want there to be, like, some sub-areas you can explore, like, in a level formats, so you can get, like, ranks and stuff like that. But, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait till we get more info on the game, because I'm pretty sure in the following weeks we're gonna get more info on the game as time goes on, so, yeah. I just want them to talk more about, like, the story and just everything, that's what I kind of want them to do, but, yeah, who knows what other stuff they got going on for us in store. I just want people to stop being so greedy about the game because y'all wanted uh, an open world Sonic game, so here you go. But yeah, it doesn't look perfect as of now, but it will probably when the game comes out, but can't really quote me on that. All right, so I think I've pretty much said everything I wanted to say about the game so far. Visually, I think it looks pretty good, but the so also, Sonic's moves could be moved up a bit, like, fixed up a bit, because I noticed that he seemed to be a little bit stiff, like, when he was running around in the level. Uh, I mean, not really much of a level, it's just, like, a world, but, yeah. They should actually fix up Sonic's move a bit and just make him move a bit more smoother. And this game will probably have gyro controls where you can actually fully roam around and you're not... You don't, like, stop every now and then. And I also hope you don't lose momentum when you're running fast, like... For example, in Sonic Forces, when you run, you, you could probably, you obviously, unfortunately, mostly run in like a straight line or something. And if you turned, Sonic would just come to a complete stop, which I really did not like. So hopefully this game doesn't have that. All right, everyone. So if you were able to stick around throughout these 21 minutes of the video, or at least more, pra <laughs> praise to you, because no one usually sticks around for these long videos, but... I just had a lot to say about this game, and I feel it needed to be open for discussion. So, yeah, I got it all off my chest. So, yeah, I hope someone at least sticks th sticks around throughout this whole video. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, let me know what you guys think about Sonic Frontiers so far. And I know you guys definitely will say a lot, because I'm pretty sure some of you will say the game looks good or bad. But, yeah, that's Sonic fans for you. They, some fans would always think the game looks good, while the rest just say it just looks plain garbage. But yeah, this game definitely will... I mean, the game's not out yet, but as I said before, it, it's already much better than Forces, because it's like the, a main Sonic game that we haven't had in like five years or so. So yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. So let me know what you guys think about Frontiers in the comments below. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Also, Sega, please delay the game if you need to. Please don't let this be a, so a bad Sonic game. Please, 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 I'm begging you.